there, welcome to my channel, I'm Sherry, um, and I wanted to do a video today for people who um, want to play the harp, but they have absolutely no idea where to start, okay? So I get a lot of people, they contact me and they really want to learn, but they're not ready for actual harp lessons. Um, the main reason, it can be very costly, um, even on the low end. It's usually going to be at least forty or fifty dollars an hour, and that's on the low end. Um, and every week that adds up. <clears throat> so my advice for people who aren't ready to take the jump into private lessons, but they do want to learn harp on their own, um, is that in order to really learn and to make any real progress, this may seem obvious, but you have to have something to practice on. Okay. Um, you don't have to have like a $20,000 pedal harp, you don't even have to have like a $2,000 harp, but you have to have something um, that you can, I recommend at least once a day, if you can't do that, like try to shoot for three to five times a week, um, where you can sort of just set aside like 20, 30 minutes, an hour is, I say an hour is ideal when you start, but even just 20 minutes. Um, so in order to get a harp, you know, you have to sort of like find someone that is willing to either either sell you one or lease you one. Um, and this is fairly easy now. Um, I got one on eBay for I think mine was eighteen hundred for like a fully functional lever harp. I was playing professionally, so I needed a full um, full lever harp where I could play like any piece I wanted. Um, but you can even get like cheap like $200, $300 harps on eBay that don't have like a full range but they can still give you um, enough that you can at least practice like your hand position and your scales so that you can kind of like at least get started. So for those of you who um, you know don't have a lot of money to get started and or you're not even sure I would recommend doing something like that just get like a really small $300 harp. It doesn't even have to have levers. You don't have to be able to change keys, but it will give you something um, in your hand that you can hold and that you can sort of practice on every day. So that would be my advice. Um, you could also, you can find, you could just find, you can Google any harp. Their Celtic harps are usually around like $2,400 to $3,600 um, lever. Any kind of lever harps are usually going to be within that range um, for a, like a full, like a 33 string harp that you can sort of play professionally. They're going to be around 2400 to 3600 um, You can also find people that are willing to lease to own. That's what I did with my Celtic harp because I wasn't sure if I wanted, if it was, I wanted to invest in it. So I, I leased it for like two years and then I decided I just might as well just, you know, pay it off and keep it. So that's an option, um, but it is important to have something, okay? So that's number one. Find a harp, any kind of harp that you can at least like have to practice like when you need to. Because if you um, are taking private lessons and spending all that money, then there's absolutely no sense in doing that if you can't like go home and practice it. Because you can like learn information but until you apply it it doesn't really settle in okay so that's number one get any kind of heart um, number two the most basic exercise um, that I still do like just years down the road I still recommend it is to learn a scale because that's going to be the essentials for everything you play um, I do have a video that will go more into depth how to play a scale but um, it's really important, especially when you're starting off, to get that foundation. Um, and another important thing, when you're, um, when you're playing the scale, you want to prepare your fingers. Because if you don't do this in the very beginning of getting a harp and starting out, you're absolutely going to shoot yourself in the foot down the road. Because if you don't prepare, like, it's going to be nearly impossible to play anything that's like remotely complex or it's just it's not worth it like there's no sense in getting a harp and then not learning correctly like you're better off actually just not even like practicing at all you know than practicing the wrong thing so um when you play a scale it's kind of like a 
piano in the sense. I don't know if any of you play piano, but it does translate. If not, that's okay. I'll just explain it briefly. But when you play, before you um, move your finger to another string on the harp, it's as a general rule, like almost always, make sure that um, the, the string that you're moving to, you already have a finger on that string. Okay, so that way it'll be smooth. So when you're playing the scale, um, before you, you want to play the four s strings on the bottom of the scale, but before you move up the scale, you want to take one of your first finger and bring it to the next half of the scale. If this is a little hard to follow, just let me know, I will clarify it, but if you don't practice the scale this way, then it, you're just it's not going to help. So that's why I just want to stress that if you are learning on your own, um, make sure you're practicing your scales right, okay? There's plenty of other videos, other like, you know, it's just Google is just so vast. There's ways of looking this up and like really making sure you get it correct. But if you're going to be like self-taught, then like definitely get that scale down, okay? So you want to do it first with your right hand or your left hand, whichever, but one hand at a time and then you put them together and you go really slow until you can get it like in the right time and then just keep doing that if nothing else that will get you like a really solid footing okay so number two play the scale um but also you don't want to get bad habits so make sure you um learn like proper posture which is like sit up straight like make sure you're getting that right um make sure your left elbow is up and when you're plucking, this is really important. A lot of people, when they first start out, and this is totally normal, they they play the string like this with their fingers up, and they just kind of claw the harp. And that is not going to give you the right tone. You could, like, injure your hands. Like, it's just make sure if you're teaching yourself how to play the harp that you are um, holding your hands correctly. So the proper way is, like, the mantra is thumbs up fingers down so when you're um, playing you're like pushing your hand your fingers into your palm okay and that's how you're getting the sound from your fingers so make sure when you first start out that that is what you're doing because you don't want to practice that wrong okay so those are the three big things if you um, know absolutely nothing you're not ready for lessons you just want to get your hands on a harp and you want to start get a harp practice your scales, um, you know, look up the basics, like posture, how to hold your hands, and make sure you're doing just all the fundamentals correctly, okay? Down the road, um, if you don't know music, you know, like, you can, that's something that you can learn down the road, like, there's plenty of resources out there, um, how to learn, like, how to read music and how to put it together, but one thing at a time like just start really slow that way you're not overwhelmed you know in that way like if you do those three things then you're gonna have your foundation okay all right so i just wanted to share that um if you have any questions or comments just let me know i do i do reply to all my comments all right have a great day